Here we go today. What's up, everyone? Today we have a police interceptor. I just got only one owner. I'm the first owner of the Crown Vic P P71. It's a um, it's more upfitted and more upgraded compared to the to the compared to the civilian model. And I got to show you a couple little quirks. And let's go inside. So the first quirk I find out about the the, the Crown Vic, it's um, there's no center console. It does. It comes just a normal plate, but this center console is aftermarket, so I, I purchase it to put it on to the to the to the floorboard right here. And I also got a uh, I also got a locking thing right here. I also installed a um, Corporate 19. We actually we we correctional CB radio. It's it pretty much helped me pretty through and stuff like that. So so the only uh, the other annoying thing is is when I was adjusting the radio when like this when I just turn on the volume accidentally press the button and it just while I'm driving the trunk opens. So that's the problem right there. So I wish they put the trunk button on the on the door right here instead of the on the middle here i think the police versions have on the middle compared to the retail version or the in the police interceptor version if the shifters on the column and from the from the as my understanding the lx sport one has the floor shifter but the cop one is on the it's on the column so I got my I got this installed this aftermarket dome light I installed. Here's the factory red light. And the uh, police interceptor package, it has a rubber floor. And most of the, the Severian LX model has carpet. So uh you on the LX model you have a um you, ha you have like a third row seat right here, you have like a like a bench seat right here. With the police version, you just have a console. So, and some, and the other model, the sport model, has a console in the middle from Ford. So, with with the floor shifter, along with not the column shifter. So here we have the seats, pretty much cloth. Doors, the manual. It's not a. It's not a. It's not. It's a key. It's not a keyless entry. It is it work with the key. Simple police key. Here's the back seat. As I mentioned, the back seat's a vinyl and the front one's a cloth. So, and this one that doesn't have headrest, I really carry passengers. So, the back seats are good. I can fold them, I can lay back here for camping, or whatever. Have my Nintendo Switch, I can play Fortnite, or whatever. So, yeah. Here we have the gas cap. It's also flex fuel. And the annoying part is the trunk. So the trunk is, once you lock it, it stays locked. So you gotta go back in there, press the button. So there's no key fob. You can, you can actually have a key fob installed from Ford. Ford will do it for you. And be easier. You can press the key fob. It can open for you. Well, go inside the car or using the key manually. So it comes with the key. So here's the big trunk space. I have my stuff in here. All my toolbox and stuff. My cleaning supplies. All that, all that mess. But don't mind the mess, everyone. I installed a couple of antennas here. A couple of CBs. Back seat again. And also the front seat. So let's go check out the engine. <laughs> Comes with spotlights. I really like. <sighs> it's the engine is a 4.6 liter V8. 
It comes with it came from a Mustang. For all Crown Vicks do have the same 4.6 liter V8, including the police versions. Here we have the 12 volt battery right here. The the coolant reservoir, the tell the brake fluid and transmission fluid. Everything's been changed out. I changed it myself. Pretty good. Changed up the spark plugs. Oh, there it's a church. It's just a 2007 Crown Vic. So everything's pretty good. Alternators do good. The belts do good. There's the AC thing down there. And that's all for the police interceptor. One last quirk of the police interceptor is the speedometer is certified to be correct. So it's a certified calibration. So all the tick marks go up to 140 and the tachometer. So the cop version has a certifiable speedometer. So if cop pulls you over, don't, you can't say it's wrong because it's certified. So that's all you guys, but forgot, forgot one more, one more last thing. The radio, it's, um, when you first got it, it has a basic radio, just a bare bones radio. It's like a, um, just like a six piece set stereo, but I swap it out for Bluetooth, so it's better. So, pretty much it, everyone. So, if you have a Crown Vic, let me know.